Uh, greetings, everyone. Uh, greet everyone in the name of the Most High, um, the Creator of heaven and earth. Uh, so, um, I represent an organization, an NGO called RAN. RAN stands for Reform the United Nations Now. Uh, at the UN, there's a United Nations Security Council, uh, which is composed of member states which are not always permanent, then you have the permanent five. The permanent five uh, composes of uh, America, it composes of uh, France, it composes of China, it compo composes of Russia, and then it composes of the UK. So as RAN, we believe that the veto power that these permanent five have must be removed. Uh, as we uh, know that nations have uh, made uh, proposals at the UN Security Council so that there can be certain embargoes on what Israel is doing uh, and what the international community is not doing to stop the genocide. So we need to reform the United Nations so that we can ensure global justice takes place. There's currently challenges happening. Yes, at the moment we are zooming in on the issue of Israel since the Nakba in 1948 when uh, the state of Israel was recognized by Britain and America. And we must also understand that Britain and America is basically the father uh, and the grandfather of Israel. And once you destroy America and once you undermine the hegemony of America and the Britain over the world, you will be able to basically uh, destabilize the power of Israel because their resources, their military power, their ability to create airstrikes is all empowered by America. Uh, so that we need to understand. Then another is historical issue is also we need to go to a deeper social truth and confront these so-called apologies, these so-called Jews that adopted Judaism. You know, they had to basically go and fetch uh, Ethiopians in Abyssinia to validate, to validate. Israel as truly being Jewish and there is truly indigenous uh, Hebrew people living there because the so-called Ashkenazi Zionist Jews that we know today are not the legitimate Hebrew Jews. But that's another historical, theological theory and it's facts, you know. So people don't always want to speak on this because now you're bringing up hate speech but we need to tell people what their origins is now you're coming into a land and you're claiming that this is your land after the romans scattered judea hundreds of years ago there's been so many occupations of those lands by different empires and different civilizations now all of a sudden in 1948 you want to tell us this is your homeland we also understand that the zionist plot to to basically invade the Middle East because they need to have, the West needs to have control over the Middle East. They have to have control over the canal. They have to have control over uh, the, 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 the geopolitical region between Australia and South Africa so that if there is a clash of civilizations, once again, they have this military strat strategic uh, plan over the earth. This is also a matter of the clash of civilizations. It is the matter of the West wanting to impose their traditions, their faith, their cultures, their liberal way of doing things on another civilization, which is the civilization of the East. So I, I advise parents to, to groom their children to be knowledgeable, to groom their children to be warriors, to groom their children to be human rights activists of the future. Uh, with that, we want to call on uh, Israel to stop the mass murder of the people of Palestine. We want to call on Israel to stop occupying land, stop stealing land, stop being settlers. When we talk about uh, the settler state of Israel, it's similar to what happened in southern Africa, where we are still a settler state. We still have settlers that came from another territory to come and settle here. The same is happening in, 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 in Palestine. So with that, I call upon the powers of God, the righteous God of the earth, the one God uh, that 
is here to instill morality and instill righteousness and to st- instill divine guidance on the humans so that we can love each other and find knowledge in each other uh, and enlighten each other to know that spiritually uh, and historically we come from one root you know whether it's Ismail or whether it's Israel or whether it's Abraham or whichever way so I advise everyone to seek deeper knowledge and to love each other and to praise God to go to mosque to go to church and have morals and have a moral compass because as we can see a lot of people of so-called religions and faith don't have the convictions to come and stand here with us today because of what uh, they are being taught so let's teach each other the true history the true faith and I would like to ask everyone to find my words and my actions and my step uh, humble and acceptable in the sight of the Most High. I mean, thank you. So, Krasya, ma, thank you, uh, Hein. Uh, I think the, the, the background that Hein is is the, 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 the powers that be or the powers that are behind the Zionist and Israeli offensive, which is primarily America the UK and France and of course the West following suit and all the uh, minions so to speak. So I mean the, the first thing they did was to visit to pay a visit to Israel the day or two after the start of the war and to sympathize and to send to send planes and boats and all sorts of dis- the, uh, methods of destruction in order to assist in killing the children and the people of Palestine, and to bomb the hospitals, the schools, the churches, to bomb them to smithereens so that there is nothing left. And they do so with the hate in their hearts, the hate that supersedes anything and everything. It is a hate that destroys. We need to stop that. In our actions, in our du'as, in our pleas, in our walks, in our talks, to, to, to to bring this all to an end, the suffering of the people of Palestine and particularly Gaza. So we are now going to um, oversee the handing over of the memorandum by Sister Wahida to the powers that be. Okay, we say a warm welcome to Leanne Mehring. She's representing the mayor's office. And before we hand it over, we are going to read it so we all understand what's in it. <clears throat> It's addressed to the mayor and the mayors of the Garden Road because they have district council in George. We, the undersigned, express our deepest concern for the ongoing humanitarian crisis and acts of genocide in Gaza and therefore call upon the office of the mayors of George Municipality and the Garden Road District District Municipality to take immediate and decisive action to address the issue. Gaza is currently facing a catastrophic situation characterized by widespread destruction, violence, loss of innocent lives and grave humanitarian crisis. A dire need for urgent intervention cannot be overstated. As a nation, we have a history of overcoming injustice and a strong commitment to human rights. We are well positioned to play a role in advocating for peace and justice anywhere in the world, inclusive of Gaza. We therefore demand that the George Root uh, Jo- sorry, the George Garden Route District and George Municipality Councils, through their mayors, pledge unequivocal support and solidarity for the people of Palestine. We demand that the Garden Route District Municipalities and the Garden Route Council, through their mayors, condemn the atrocious and ongoing war crimes of Benjamin Netanyahu and the Israeli government being committed against innocent women, children, men, and the elderly of Palestine, especially Gaza. We demand that the Garden Route Districts Root District and the George Municipality, through their mayors, condemn the apartheid state of Israel and demand an end to illegal settlements and occupation of all Palestinian land. We demand that the Garden Root, Garden Root District Municipalities and the Garden Root Councils, Garden uh, George Municipal Councils, approach both provincial and national government to express solidarity with the Palestinians and demand the freedom and unconditional implementation of basic human rights for all Palestinians. By signing this petition, we stand united in calling for immediate action to end the genocide in Gaza. We believe that George and the Garden Route District Councils can play a pivotal role in bringing about positive change and contributing to a lasting peace in the region. 
We look forward to your response and feedback with regards to your combined actions going forward. Obviously, we've got the signatures for those who have signed this petition as well. And those who are concerned, we did ask for the mayor to come forward. We did ask for deputy and speaker. We will be addressing and delivering this to him in person as well. Thank you so much for your attendance. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm Leanne Mayron, the senior manager in George Municipality. I can acknowledge receipt of your memorandum. Thank you. Thank you so much. We now we now have the little ones, the children of George that's going to do a display of the way that they see the suffering of the Palestinians in their small but courageous way. We, they are an example and little role models to the adults and the vicious people of the world. And that is how when we start learning to have humanity, to have compassion, and to have a heart for those that are suffering, the children of George.